Breaking news tonight. New information is expected to be released in just a few moments about a human skull found in Decatur County. Good evening, everyone. Three and a half years ago, nursing student Holly Bobo went missing in Decatur County, but tonight we still don't know if the human remains found this past weekend belong to her. Here's what we do know. Holly Bobo disappeared April 13th of 2011. The 20 year old nursing student disappeared from her home. Her, her brother Clint was the last person to see her alive. And since then, over this past several years, thousands of volunteers have spent countless hours searching for her. Now we have live team coverage of this breaking news story and we're going to begin in Decatur County as authorities are preparing to address the media. Now here's what we're told at this news conference tonight. The director of the TBI, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, Mark Gwynn, will speak first, followed by the district attorney of the 24th Judicial District, Matt Stowe. Let's go to the podium now. Good evening. First, I would like to extend my condolences to the family and friends of Holly Bobo. In light of the recent discovery of possible human remains in Decatur County, TBI has been able to confirm through the findings of an odontologist that the remains are of Holly Bobo. <laughs> TBI agents and the Decatur County Sheriff's Department have continued to work tirelessly over three years to thoroughly follow leads and bring those responsible to justice. It was my prayer as well as the prayers of many others that Holly Bobo would be found. I assure you all this is not over by any means. The investigation is still ongoing to get to the truth. I am now going to turn it over to District Attorney Stowe, who would like to share his thoughts. I've just come from a very difficult conversation with the Bobo family. Uh, they will be issuing a statement tomorrow. I'm going to ask that everyone please respect their privacy until uh, around noon or one o'clock tomorrow. We'll make sure everyone's informed uh, and they will be giving a statement at that time. Uh, after the kind of conversation I've just had, there's not a whole lot you can say. So I'm just going to say three things. First of all, the TBI has been working exhaustively on this case for years. The evidence is voluminous. We're going through it right now. We're going to be continuing to follow up leads with the TBI. We're going to be continuing to gather evidence and interview people. We are going to make sure that everyone who played a part in the heinous crime that has attacked the peace and dignity of the state of Tennessee faces a consequence for that. Uh, I've looked at the case. The office has looked at the case. Uh, you know this case was being analyzed as a possible death penalty case. We are ready, willing, and able to seek the death penalty in this case. We'll be making a decision sometime in the next couple weeks in conjunction with the Bobo family. Uh, and right now, in the meantime, we have the finest experts that we can find and that are available. There are so many people working on this case right now that it would boggle the mind to really think about all the work that's being done and nobody's sleeping. Nobody needs to be told what to do in this case. Uh, everyone knows how serious the charges are and how important it is to get to the truth. And we will get to the truth. Uh, if today is proof of anything, it's proof that you can delay justice, but you can't deny it. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, that was TBI director. You just heard a statement from the TBI director, Mark Gwynn, and the district attorney, Matt Stowe, for this area. The TBI has confirmed that the human remains found on Sunday are that of Holly Bobo. The district attorney saying that this is not over. This case is really just getting started. They're saying that they are continuing the evidence gathering in this case. And they say that just because the justice has been delayed, because this case has gone on for three years now, 
justice will not be denied. They say that they are ready, willing, and able to seek the death penalty in this case. Of course, we're going to follow this. We're expecting a statement from the Bobo family tomorrow, but there are plenty of Holly Bobo supporters, people who have been through this for three years now. They were here in this room. They let out a, a, a cry. There are people who left this room sobbing. And of course, there's still a lot of emotion even three years later. So we're going to continue to follow this, bring you the latest uh, throughout the night and again tomorrow. For now, we're live in Decatur County. I'm Todd Walker, News Channel 5 HD. Todd, thanks so much. So there it is, live here on News Channel 5. You heard it from Mark Gwynn, the TBI director, almost three and a half years after Holly Bobo's disappearance. Confirmation that a human skull found this past weekend in Decatur County, miles from where she went missing, is indeed that of Holly Bobo. Now, so far, we know two men have been arrested and charged with her kidnapping and murder, Zach Adams and Jason Autry. Also, another man, Shane Austin, was initially offered immunity in exchange for some information regarding the location of Bobo's body. That was pulled, though. There is a picture of the murder suspect, 29-year-old Zach Adams. The other is Adams' friend, 39-year-old Jason Wayne Autry, both charged with kidnapping, aggravated kidnapping, and first-degree murder in this case. Our Chris Conti has been following this case closely for months now. He's made numerous trips to Decatur County. Tonight, though, he's in our newsroom and has watched this story unfold along with us. Uh, Chris, it's almost, as we mentioned, uh, three and a half years now since Holly Bobo disappeared. Such a long wait for her family and friends and now at least a bit of closure for them. It, it certainly is, Rory, but you also can't help to, but to think that we've been here before. That same room where Todd is standing right now with Mark Gwynn from the TBI and the uh, district attorney there and some of Holly Bobo's friends, that was the very same spot where back in March those very same people stood and said that after three and a half years they were issuing an, issuing an indictment, but they did not have Holly Bobo's body and that is so incredibly key here to remember this case was going to be drastically different as it went through the court system without Holly Bobo's body and you have to imagine that this is the day that Holly Bobo's family and friends have been waiting for but certainly have not wanted so it's just now it's in, in memory of Holly for three and a half years heartache in the town of Parsons has been defined by the color pink we love you and we miss you and we will never stop looking for you until we have you back home. April 13th, 2011, a cool spring morning in Decatur County when Holly Bobo was taken from her home and never seen again. Days went by, weeks went by, years went by, nothing. Until February, when an apparent break in the case came. Officials spent days combing through the woods behind Zachary Adams' home in Holiday. The hope was that maybe Holly was there, somewhere in those woods. Her body, though, was never found. Decatur County Grand Jury handed down indictment of especially aggravated kidnapping and first-degree felony murder on Zachary Rye Adams. But charges soon came for Zach Adams and another man, Jason Autry, where Holly was, though, was still a mystery until 10.38 a.m. Sunday morning. Everybody wants to think that it's linked to the Holly Bobo case, and, and we, don't, we don't have any information to confirm or deny that. Two hunters searching the woods for the herb ginseng in Holiday found a human skull, which was then sent to Memphis for DNA testing to determine if, in fact, it was Holly. On the ground, the spot where those remains were found was some 20 minutes from Zachary Adams' home. Google Maps gives you a better perspective of the six miles or so which separate the two search locations. It is an area, officials say, they searched by air, but never on the ground. And now it turns out she may have been there all along. They're looking for closure. They need closure. The community needs, needs closure, too. We drove it multiple times in the last couple of days, that six-mile stretch between Zach Adams' home where the search initially began back in February when they had that break in the case, and that spot right along County Corner Road just off I-40 is six miles 
but it could be a lifetime of separation given the fact that it's a dirt road. It's hard to get down there. The sheriff told us over and over again yesterday that this is not a spot that you accidentally come upon. Someone would have purposely had to have put that skull there. We still don't know who did that, even though two people have been indicted in this case. But tonight we do know that it was, in fact, Holly Bobo. Live in the newsroom this evening, Chris Conti, News Channel 5 HD.